Hello boaters, this is Paul Mirabelli, the mayor of Mountainside. I'm up here in the parking lot of the Trailside Museum, which is the desig place where we have the designated drop box for your votes. There's a big white sign you can see here that will direct you toward the uh, ballot box. Uh, as you know, the governor has mandated that this year uh, the election be held primarily by mailing in your, in your vote. There's going to be limited polling places in Mountainside. We're going to have one at Deerfield and one at Beachwood. The only people that will be actually able to uh, cast their vote on a machine are going to be people that are disabled. Okay? If you go to the polling place and you're not disabled, you are going to have to vote with a provisional ballot or for the first time this year, you can actually bring your mail ballot to the polls and give it to a poll worker. Okay? The first, next thing I'd like to go over uh, is, is how you actually fill out your ballot so you make sure you do it properly. Okay? When you take your ballot out of the envelope that you received, you're going to want to look at the candidate, you're going to want to use a black pen, and you're going to fill in the circles next to the candidate that you are choosing. Then you have to flip it over, and there are three public questions on the, on the back of the ballot. You have to vote either yes or no, uh, and there also is a little description that tells you about what each uh, question is. Once you do that, you will fold your ballot, you put it in the inner envelope that has a flap on it. Okay, you stick it in the inner envelope, you don't rip the flap off, you pull the little adhesive tape and you seal the envelope. Then you have to sign on the outside of the envelope. You should sign it as if this was a serious document. Don't just scribble your name, because your ballot is a serious document. And that's one of the ways they will verify that the person that they sent the ballot to is the one that is actually voting. At that point, you have to stick it in the envelope and then you seal that envelope. On the front of the envelope, if you are not, if someone is dropping your ballot off for you, they have to fill out the front and they have to sign it. I'm also here with another Mountainside resident, Steve Matichuk. Steve, I see you've already filled out your ballot. Yes, I have. I follow the instructions. I'm going to drop it in the secure lockbox. Okay, so now we're going to proceed to the secure lockbox, and I'm going to tell you about all the different options you have in which to cast your vote. Now that you've filled out your ballot, it's time to cast the ballot. We're up here at the Trailside Museum in Mountainside, which is the only place where there's a dedicated, secure lockbox for you to deposit your ballot. As we were standing in the parking lot today, I saw a, a, a husband and wife with their children coming up to cast their ballots. This is a good teaching moment for your children, and they should be involved in the election process. I, I was very glad to see that. Uh, actually, my daughter is here to cast her ballot, but she doesn't want to be on camera, so she's over there hiding in the woods right now. So there are a couple ways you can cast your ballot. The, the easiest one for a mountainside resident is you take your ballot and you just stick it in the ballot box. Okay? This is a secure uh, ballot box. They pick up the ballots here every day. There is a camera that's monitoring it. There are other ways for you to cast your ballot, okay? You can also drop it off at the Union County uh, Board of Elections, okay? I'm sorry, the Union County Clerk's Office. There's two of them. Uh, one is at 2 Broad Street in Elizabeth at room 115. The other one is at 300 North Avenue East in Westfield. The other place you can drop it off is at the Board of Elections, which is also located in Elizabeth, at 271 North Broad Street. And I also explained a little bit about the fifth way that you can do it. And this is the first time that you could do this. You can bring your mail-in ballot to the polls 
and you can hand it over to a, a poll worker. Uh, they will be asking you for some ID if you do it that way. So make sure you have your driver's license uh, with you. So these are the ways that you can make sure that your vote is counted. And it's very important that everybody cast their vote and that that vote be counted. So please follow these really simple instructions and your vote will count. Steve wants to put your ballot in now too. Thank you, Mayor. Right. And Melissa? <laughs> she's still hiding from the camera. So she's going to vote, but she's going to do it off camera. Thank you, everyone, for listening to me and taking the time out to learn how to make sure you vote properly and your vote is counted. Thank you very much.